Rigel, what do we know about Jarvan Minor? Very little. The Emergent Protectorate sent a research colony to it years ago, but lost contact with their personnel. No one knows why. Hmm, that's disturbing. Well, let's go find out what happened here. The High Lord's coordinates lead us to this drop zone. It appears that his forces have already established a position nearby. Their movements indicate that they'll be competing with you for control of the Terrazine on this world. Why would they do that? Perhaps Alarak intends for you to cull his weakest warriors. The Tau Darim prize strength above all else. You'll have to fight your way to the extraction devices, then defend them whilst they harvest. I'll activate our ravens and liberators to assist you. I don't know how you get access to everything, but I'm grateful, Rigel. Is there anything else Alarak isn't telling us? Hmm. My scans show signs of life in this area, but they're all below the surface. They probably won't stay that way. I'll be ready. It's a high-risk operation. And yet, should you prevail, you will have more than enough Terrazine to restore your memories. Alright. Uh, so no, for equipment... You have a new suit available. Alright, so... Uh, first things first. Uh, so we can either reveal the cloak or whatever. Let, let's just go through what the new stuff is first. So we have, usually we use the permanent cloaking suit. 150 life, 1 armor, and a little bit of movement speed. This is our new one. 200 life, 1 armor, a little bit of movement speed. Plus 100 energy, increases regeneration, uh, energy regeneration, uh, re regeneration rate by 50%, and you can cloak while wearing. This is the best suit in the game. Uh, basically, hands down. Um, there's very little reason you should ever switch from this one. Uh, because the energy regeneration and the increased energy is just ridiculous. By the way, the can cloak while wearing. The cloak, I think, costs about 50 energy. And remember, you get like 100 energy and insane regeneration rate. It costs about like, uh, yeah, as I said, like 50 energy or something. And it you cloak for 30 seconds as a cooldown of 40 seconds. So really, it's just basically like uh, if you could deal with a 10 second cooldown of not being cloaked, it is better than the, this one in every way. Absolutely better in every way. Um, so this is honestly the best suit in my in my humble opinion, and you should use it all the time. Uh, we will be using uh, the shotgun for this mission. Um, I found that actually to be the best one. I mean, you got the melee weapon, but the, the default attack on the shotgun actually has like a arc. Uh, like arc spread, and you deal with kind of a fair bit of a, uh, let's just say a fair bit of like light units that kind of just kind of swarm and shit like that. So, the blade you'd think would be good, but it's kind of not. I actually like the shotgun much better for this. And then we use a pulse grenade because it is our only option with regards to dealing damage to air units. Now, I don't really particularly care to see uh, cloaked units. Uh, like in most missions, I really don't. I mean, the last mission kind of made sense because then you could then we could kill the. Um, observers but we're gonna actually take um this one which we increase our vision and the range of our non-melee weapons which is their shotgun which also has very low range to begin with and increases by two which this is actually like this uh range finder uh whatever fucking helmet that looks like something retarded um this scales really well better than it does with like the sniper rifle because the sniper already has long range so you don't need to have more range with it. Although, as I said, it does allow you to, to outrange detectors. Uh, but for for the, in the case of the shotgun, it works really well because the shotgun has low range to begin with, and then kind of it works really well together. I came up with something special for our liberators. Please take a look. Well, I'll show you what they have here. So we have the ability to cloak liberators. Now, if you don't know what liberators do, they're basically like, I, I mean, they're kind of like flying siege tanks. They're kind of weird. You basically kind of like set up in a place and then they can attack ground and then normally they just attack air. Uh, so they're not incredibly great. I, I've tried to spam them and I found them to be utterly fucking useless to be honest. Uh, they have like splash damage. They're basically kind of like Valkyries. I think they have splash air. Yeah, they have air splash damage. They're kind of like Valkyries in their own right, but they're like, eh. I, I, I've never really liked them at all. 
that's that's it. And it takes like four seconds for them to transform, so it gives like an idea, uh, like a little bit of time for people to get out. But you can also make them go like fucking four times faster, so one second, and then they fucking are killing stuff. So uh, we will not be using liberators really this mission. So screw it. I could not care less about this stuff. Uh, and then here we have uh, ravens, so you can get spider mines. I want to mention though, it says here that um, it replaces seeker missiles. Uh, it doesn't appear to do that at all. Well so we're going to put that on. It doesn't replace seeker missiles at all. And then this allows you to make it without a, a, a tech port or whatever the fuck. Uh, so here you can get the regenerative bio steel, which is one of our most amazing abilities. So um, if you haven't noticed from this campaign, yeah, there's not a lot of ways we have of healing people um, besides like me bringing out SCVs and healing my, my mechs. That's basically all I have. Um, so what we actually do is we actually give the regenerative biostone to our Goliaths, which are going to be tanking a lot of damage. The The range is really good, but we take the the regenerative biostone on them. This is like the best way I found of playing this mission. And this one allows you to move while attacking in Hellion mode and how that's transformed between modes four times faster. You would think this would be the one mission that would, they, they would be good at, but they're really not. They're really god-awful. Um... I've tried. I've tried to use them, and I hate them so much. And tanks have the regenerative bio steel as well. I don't know really why you use that. They should. They're sh supposed to be all the way in the back. You know, they're pretty friggin' awful at this stuff. Um, then we have also smart servos, which makes them transform four times faster. That's honestly a pretty good upgrade. Um, I mean, to be honest, though, like. I have this issue with this game where I'm like, uh, you know, you have this jump jet technology, right? This is the one I've had this entire time. How many times have you seen me use it? Not very often. It's 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 a joke because there, there's no cliffs to go up in this game ever. There's no situation where you ever say like, yeah, I, I really love the jump jets. No, you really don't. So I'm actually going to put smart servos on them now and Hellbats can go have the fucking jump jets. I don't care. Um, Marines, I still continue to give the super stim pack. Uh, I mean, you have a lot of options of what to give them, but I don't know. I don't really care. I'm not going to build any of these guys, so that's, that doesn't matter. And we don't build Liberators either. Although, you know, having something for the Liberators wouldn't be bad. I don't know. Because I could give them the Servos or something, or I can give them Cloak. Yeah, let's give them Cloak. Just because why not? Like, we start with some, so it's whatever. So let's get going. Alderim are contacting us directly. You may have impressed High Lord Alarak in our last battle, but you haven't impressed me. I will be competing with you for the Terezin in this challenge. May the best warrior ascend to victory. I think she's still mad about her mothership. This isn't going to be easy. In the rear with the gear. Sure thing. All right, Rigel. Have you identified all of the device locations? Naturally. Here they are. The emojins appear to be using biomechanical engineering to facilitate the extraction process. You can study it later. Right now, I need to get my forces ready to protect the devices while I'm harvesting from them. I can't build here. All right, so we can kind of now move out. We get some resources here. Damn it. I think I found the missing researchers, Rigel. They're all infested. So, let's see. Cloak is 50 energy. You help us. We'll help you. So we can send our two liberators in. Oh, they have energy now. It's adorable. So I just kind of like put like one over here and put like one over here. We're still kind of trying to make uh, these little guys here. But we're going to actually go and uh, take one of these gases now. And we're going to also take one of these reactors as well. So as you can see, I go also very new heavy here. I mean, I do that in like every mission, to be honest. But, um, we, we're actually pretty good here with what we have. Nova here. 
Gas is a bit of an issue on this map, so we're gonna probably just be a little bit careful about that. I I would give anything to have like double SCVs or fucking something like to help me get my resources because it takes forever to, to establish your, your your money basically. I hate it so much. So the reason I uh, put these put these liberators here is because for some reason they start sending a bunch of guys over here. I I couldn't tell you why. We also need uh, additional factory for. Uh, I probably should put it like over here somewhere or something. Gotcha. Somewhere out of the way. We're gonna just work on collecting. Yeah, see, they they, they start doing an attack basically uh, on your base. So you know what? I think we're pretty much good. As soon as uh, as soon as these guys stop bringing a shit ton of these things, I'll I'll go over there because they just kind of gather for attacks. It's weird. And this is where we're gonna get Goliath from. Maybe I'll do that now. My scans show more infested approaching our base. We got them all though. I took this. I'm starting that up. Off to a good start. The first device is activating. Strange. There's some kind of creature inside the device. Nova. The extraction process is drawing infested toward the device. Nuclear missile ready. So we get our first nuke, but just kind of wait on that. There's no rush on using that. Whoops, I just want to do this. Uh, we need fucking way more supply depots. We're gonna also make one guy go over here. Because we're kind of dealing with this thing right here. And we're fine. We don't want, we don't want the Nidus Worms to do anything. But you see how much energy I have? It's ridiculous. Like, it's just, this suit's just freaking great. Okay, so this is becoming a problem. Uh, I might actually, I'm gonna cloak. I'm gonna cloak and take that out. Extraction device requires additional defenses, Nova. This challenge will be easily won. Warriors, lead the way to victory! They are moving to attack a device. If they are successful, there will be one less source of terrazine available to us. Consider it done. Rigel, bring the ship here. I've got some terrazine ready to go. So hot over here, boss. Uh, yeah, these guys are fun. Now, th this expansion, I found, I kind of, I took it and I didn't really need it, so we don't really bother with it. So we kind of cloaked to just kind of dealt with him, although there's one over there. Actually, we can, we can just go kind of handle him. So we're gonna kite him back. Oh, there you go. See? How nice is that? Alright, we need we need some more... Oh, we need some additional supply depots. That's what we need. Okay, I need really a lot of more supply depots. I've been just sitting on all this money for, like, ages. It's actually pathetic. Uh, I don't have enough to be comfortable enough to to kind of go out. We it's it's tanks actually that we really need here. Uh, so we're gonna make one more uh, factory here. The amount of glides we get from having a, a reactor is good enough. Um, which is why like I mean the the upgrade to make it so that they uh, they they don't need a fa they don't need a tech lab might be okay. But you're not saving that much money to be honest. You know that, that's the only reason I don't like it. I don't really bother with it. Yeah, I'm gonna make also two armories right there. I'm almost ready to go. Maybe like, maybe after another siege tank or two. We're gonna go. Actually, Nova can easily go get this stuff. Yeah, there's some stuff over there. Oh, I, t I told him to come over here and attack. Whoops. 
I have a I have a select entire army command, and then I sometimes use that. And Status you should take support. the gas there too. Gas is gonna be the largest issue that I have. Yeah, I, I still don't feel very comfortable with this. So we do like we do like super siege tanks. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. So I would completely like to get another... Yeah, okay, after that last siege tank, then I think we're good. Holy shit, we need, we need upgrades now. Alright, everyone come over here. Didn't I have another siege tank? Oh yeah, there he is. The fuck is he doing? He took the long way around. Oh uh, yeah, there's another attack here. They occasionally send shit like this in, and I just, I, I, I don't, we'll take that base eventually, because this stuff doesn't last forever. Insufficient gas. Nova, the emoji records indicate that the researchers had additional mines here. I'd imagine they had to leave some equipment behind. Emoji tech is hard to come by. I'll check it out. The second device is operational, but we're not getting it without a fight. Status report. So Nova could kind of like cover one entrance on her own. I mean, this shit does a lot of damage, even even if it's not light units, you know. That's why we also gave her the additional range as well. It would normally be four range, and that's what these like Volta infested. They make the sword absolutely useless in this mission. But you do definitely. Oh, I have like four nukes. Fucking hell! I'm just sitting on that shit. Trust me, having those is a, just a great kind of clutch thing you can do. Uh, I'm probably too close to this. So it's also a good thing to note that so the uh, Goliaths are automatically given the multi-lock system, which they attack both air and ground, and the tanks do less damage to friendly units. We'll get it soon. To be honest, you can probably get it right now. But you can see I kind of saved my nukes for them, and then they never take it. These tanks are more than sufficient. So as soon as they get over there and they start attacking the, the next Terrazim Geyser, then that, that's kind of the, the route that I take. Execute. Is whatever one they come after. Another terrorism canister is ready for pickup. Our enemies are attacking a terrazine extraction device. All right, we start heading in. Confirm that last. Strictly business. Yeah, we got some guys here too. So we can just kind of see these guys right up. And these Goliaths will heal themselves, so we're kind of we're doubly really good here, so. And let's see. Can we use some more fly depots? We certainly can. I'm just gonna make some more kind of randomly around. We have a lot of we have a lot of minerals. Uh, it's tough to decide what to put that into because I hate marines and I hate hell bats, but I mean both are good if you just want something to absorb damage. But to be honest, you know, take a quick look at how much um, like how much forces we have. To, it, it, you don't need to focus that. You don't need to care. So we're gonna just take this guy. I've got more terrazine coming to you, rival. Uh, let's continue to make some siege tanks then. Nova, I'm detecting more invested heading toward your position. Don't you ever have good news? I'm just gonna cloak him and throw grenades at him. There you go. Problem solved. 
So everything's kind of coming along. Oh, uh, there's some infested right there. Alright, I may not have anything for that. I believe some research plans are still in the science facility you have a moment to look. I'll check it out. I have to be careful because uh that is a lot of shit there. Insufficient Vespine Insufficient Vespine gas goes though. This is gas here? Oh, totally gas. Let's get one of my glides down there. Are heading for our base. I guess we could kind of just deal with that. Nova here. Status report. So occasionally they just come for your base and they're assholes, so whatever. Nova here. No, oh, this one's getting through. En route. There we go, we got him. Ta-da! All done. So as long as they have to like, kind of like, the reason we do the outer ones is because then they have to go really in an inconvenient place to kind of come after us, so. Executing. Oops, I didn't uh, throw a grenade like I wanted to. Let's start with the optional objective right here. Yeah, you guys like boss fights, right? Rigel, take command of my forces until I'm done here. Of course. Oh, these things apparently count as light, so you do, you're doing more damage to them with the shotgun. And in this one as well, this attack, the Q. Oh fuck, I got hit. Yeah, I don't want to die. Got it. And one of them has a rail gun and one of, the, one of them has... What the fuck? I'm getting hit by everything. Oh shit. I'm actually losing. I'm a little bit worried. This is the light unit too. Can you figure out the pattern here? I shouldn't even bray because I almost died. They're detectors anyway, so the cloak is like useless. I found it. But what are you gonna use it for? Oh, it's a surprise. Strictly business. I love surprises. That's it for that one. Alright, just back up for a sec. Oh, by the way, the glowing infestors is a bug right now in the game. Um, just don't worry about it, pretend it's not there. Close your eyes. I was hoping that I would not get a mission today that had those, but they added a bug recently to the campaign where... Well, not, not to the campaign, it's to the entire game. It's not even just the campaign thing. Kind of come over. By the way, the Teldream, do you have a, like a little base there? Well, we don't really bother with that. Okay, well. Didn't really need to nuke that, but you know. Whatever. <laughs> What am I talking about? Of course I need to nuke it. Alright. I love how fast this transform actually. Alright, we need some more tanks though. Status report. 
Another device is getting started. We're gonna have company soon. Big job, huh? You can kind of see why I don't even bother to go for the base at all. It just doesn't matter to me. So what we can do is we can actually send one guy over here to kind of like start making the command center. I mean, because or I could fly the other one over. It's either one. Because we have like more than enough here. And Nova's just soloing her own side here. It would also would be nice planetary fortresses. You know, I'm gonna actually gonna talk about this in the game actually right now. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very um, Goliath heavy for the time being, and there's a good reason for that. It's because there's no actual good anti-air options at all in this game. It's actually it's actually completely pathetic. The Goliaths are actually the best thing that you have. Like, I I'm surprised that. They didn't add some good anti-air options like, you know, I don't know, the fucking, um, like Vikings. Vikings are usually a good option, uh, things like that. No, there's just, there's nothing. Like, it's just, you, you, you want, you want anti-air, it's either Marines, Liberators, or fucking, uh, what's the other one? Uh, oh, Goliath. I mean, there, you have one other option. You do have one other option for anti-air, but it's not like it's not something you go like, "Oh man, they're fucking me in the air." Like uh, this is the this is the unit I'm gonna use. I don't want to spoil the unit what it is, but you can pretty much guess. Like, what do you think is anything better than like liberators and shit? You know? Oh, uh, we're stunning shit here. I didn't even see if they were sending shit in there. Uh, but we should be good. All right, we'll just kind of keep heading forward, I guess. I w I kind of want some marines. Actually, whoa, we need geysers and shit pronto. So that's why that's this is why you didn't see me like build another base here because I'm just like fuck it. We have like an, we have more than enough minerals, so I'm gonna actually send a couple guys here. We must protect the breath of creation with all our might. I'll probably just get them over here. There's like one over here. How many more do we have? Fuck you, asshole. Let's stutter step our way back. Alright, let's go get our gas first. I like more nukes. Coming soon. Where's the SCVs? Okay, I need to get over here. Probably gonna just try and nuke them again. Oh, I missed them completely. <laughs> I'm trying to be cool and do shit like that, but they won't let me. Alright, we can either get we can probably I'm gonna just get this last one in the corner here. Got it. Just because I can. Uh well because then like if they come after me anymore, then they have to like they really have to go far. So I'm getting the ones that are basically the closest to them. Yeah, Nova can probably just nuke this. So we don't have to walk in with the tanks. Oh, what are these guys doing here? There we go. Let's just start this thing up now. Activating the next device now. To make it go faster, Rigel? No, I'm afraid not. I'll probably just make a couple of SCVs there too, because I kind of did waste a bunch of them. Dude, the range of curves would be pretty good for the Goliaths, but you know what's even better? Making them heal themselves. SCV ready. Uh -oh. On your guard, Nova. Those overlords are carrying additional forces. They're carrying tags. The tanks, which are going to get destroyed immediately. 
The lives make an amazing firing line, what can I say? I don't want these things to make, uh... No, I want more siege things to be in this. Fuck it, let's just make a shit ton of this, this stuff. Oh, okay, this is a problem. I was kind of using the Liberators to kind of defend there, but... I mean, it hasn't been a problem so far, so let's just go with that. And as soon as this one's done, it means that they have to go really far away to go get my, my Terrazin Extractors now. You know, I like I like the fact that Alaric has to, like, just fucking calls, like, his own forces. Just, like, why not? Calls the weak ones. Oh. This one, it didn't tell me about this one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, awesome. Distracted them long enough. Alright, we're good. Obliterate an extraction device. Show them the full extent of our power. Now, do relax. Don't go after one yet, because um, we still have an optional objective to do, so... I, I, this is not really what, what my intention was for the one I was going to go for, but I'm just waiting for them to kind of come down now. And now I'm going to just build a shit ton of Goliaths, because I think that's all we need at this point. Like, we just... Uh, sorry, just going back on what I was saying before, we have, like, absolutely no anti-air options whatsoever. It's just like, yeah, do you want Goliaths, do you want Liberators, do you want Marines? That's it. Um, and there's a lot of... Like, you can tell that there's a lot of air kind of here. Uh, should I do it now? Time to go. clean him out. There we go. Say again. <laughs> it's fucking that. awesome how fast they end siege. So we're gonna kinda go down this way. Uh even though I killed everything up there. Insufficient Vespine gas. I have nothing else better to do. Just Agreed. to kill that. Consider it done. And we're gonna go through here. Yes. She could probably just kind of go in there and clear it out with nukes. Crazy driver. <laughs> Say again. Done. All right, we're going in. Confirm that last. Uh, you, you go to the mine entrance. And here we have our last little optional objective. Acknowledged. The game's frozen, by the way, when you're, like, not in here, because you can see I'm not getting any resources. Guy just dealing with his eggs. Once again, he counts as light. I don't know why he counts as light. But yeah, we're doing our bonus damage to him. But he kind of hurts, yes. If only we took Stimpak with us. I'll make it happen. Ah, it's a prototype for new equipment. You're going to like this, Rigel. I already do. And we get a prototype for new equipment from that. This is the worst formation I've ever seen. So as you can see, we're we're probably good now. Actually, this guy doesn't need to be here. If only I had jump jets. Reminds me of like Mech Warrior. 
having jump jets on this shit. Uh, looks like they killed my, my little guys here. And like situations like this, this is why we use the shotguns, it's just so good. This is the last time it, it's good though. <laughs> By the way, there is a Protoss base down here, um, but killing it doesn't actually prevent them from sending anything at you. It's it's really cheesy how they like they just have the base there for like jokes, but it, like killing it you're, doesn't accomplish anything. They just kind of nag you slightly, and they go like, "Why are you doing this?" And then nothing happens. They oh they killed my base here. Oh well. you once I know where they are. When the time comes, I will know. Alright, he's a shit. We got Meg Rail Munitions and uh, Hollow Decoy. Nova, I've gone through your findings from Tarsonis and the attack on Tyridor 9. They're compelling, but I can't take action against the Defenders of Man until we know who is leading them. I agree. And that's why I have this. Terrazine? You've seen what it does to people, the hallucinations, insanity. And yet, there is nothing more effective for memory restoration. He's right. It's the only option we have. Do what you have to do. The protests are intensifying. You need to evacuate immediately. So be it. I will not have violence outside the palace. Nova, report back soon. And be careful. Seems like he could take his own advice. Oh, he won't. But as for the Terrazine, I can make the process safer by administering it to you in microdoses. It will take longer to restore all of your memories, but the chances of a psychotic episode are greatly reduced. No psychotic episodes. You convinced me. Let's get started. Try to remember everything you see. Medical scans complete. Defenders of Man have already done so much for the Dominion. I'm glad I was sent here to help out. The Admiral wasn't lying when he said we'd be working with the best soldiers under his command. Your visor should have the latest briefing. Oh, I've been meaning to tell you. It's been acting up lately. Don't worry. We'll update the software when you get back. Good luck out there. I know where they sent me on my last mission. It's not much, but it might lead to something more. <laughs> 